Hi, in this video, I just trying to show you how to migrate your ACT SAC um, database to Zenhu CRM. Uh, as you know, uh, the uh, ACT database uh, is a SQL database, and um, before you send it to Zenhu CRM for the uh, for upload to your uh, CRM account, uh, you need to generate three files. Those three files then mm, Zohu CRM support or yourself can extract become a CSV files and then you can upload to the CRM. So uh, if you have an ACT database, uh, you need first is uh, detach your ACT database. The reason is uh, we need uh, three types of files. Those three files are based on the CRM support is ADF, ALF, PAD. And this is the link you can uh, open and have a look how to de uh, detach your ACT database. Uh, and here is the one. This is the. Okay. Uh, here I've got a very detailed instruction. Uh, so you can have a look at it and uh, this is the URL uh, you can Google search and find it and then you can based on this you will select whatever the database uh, uh, you have you just click it and then you can use the uh, the tools or actions and the de uh, mm, detach this file after that uh, there are three files will be generated. The location will be uh, in the ACT database folder. Let me show you. Okay, here is the showing. Uh, I only show those three files. It's so ADF, ARF, PAD. Those files will be uh, downloaded and then you can zip it and send it to the CRM. But remember, uh, after you you detach the uh, your ACT database and you have to reattach back otherwise your uh, your ACT application couldn't fetch the, the, those database anymore so what you can do is you can this is detach okay I want to see is attach okay so you need uh, how to attach a SAG ACT um, in here, you can you can have a look at this instruction, but if uh, you have an upper version, let's say uh, uh, 10 or 2008-10 or higher version, then you don't need to go to uh, this path. You can just uh, open your act and uh, of course it's empty because it's uh, already detached. Then it will ask you, do you want to attach again? Then you can find that file in that database, which I just showed you uh, here. Find this. It's called ADF file. It is the file you need to select it. Not ARF, not PAD. Only this. This is the main database file. So once you select that, it will open and sh sh back to the normal. So that means it's uh, uh, reattached again. That's all. Thank you. Bye.